Okay then, so as you can see, this is the RGB effect. It's got a full light right around it. It affects the whole room and also it is type C. This is the included accessories with the actual desk pad. And what can you say? It's type C. Yes, it does illuminate with every part of this desk pad. If you guys are looking for a VPN service, then seriously, you need to check out Connect VPN because with 30 day money back guarantee, with 50 plus servers across 30 plus countries and zero contracts. Also, if you use my code Welshy30, you will also get a 30% discount off a checkout. Make sure you go to the link in the description and check out Connect VPN. And I'd like to thank them for sponsoring the video. Right, when it comes to the actual uh, Nexus software, yes, you can change a lot of the lighting, but also you can register your product. You can also so uh, sign in. Now, this is the lighting effects. Now, it does a lot of different types of RGB effects, screen, media. You can put your own uh, creative background and stuff like that, and it will shine up the lights. Now, of course, there's got animated versions. It's got music. So, yes, it can be uh, affected by music. Uh, the overall software really is okay um the only problem i'd say is that you can't actually add any other peripherals from different brands to this software which is a bit of a downfall for me and for you guys because at the end of the day if you're going to be paying this kind of money for a desk pad you'd want it to be able to be compatible with every single div well any other peripheral out there so yes you can set all these different types of rgb effects yeah it's, it's it look i will say for the rgb effect it does look rather nice it fully illuminates all around the desk pad it's got like a light underneath that illuminates the only problem i'd really say is um if you turn the pc off unless you actually press the button at the back it does tend to like flicker I don't know if that's just the unit I got, but that's one thing you've really got to realize. Now, yes, this is the RGB tester. It will go through every single RGB color just to test it out so you can see what the representative of the colors will be on the mat itself. Now, in terms of using the software, it's rather easy to use. It's like any other software for RGB to use, but like I said, the only problem that is you can't add other brands to it now it does have a very good menu at the front because it does show cpu frequency gpu it also does ram it shows you the percentage of cpu usage the ram usage gpu it it does censor a lot of them which is very good i mean it's quite amazing that just a software that's made for rgb you know it even tells you the day and where you live which is mad it tells you the storage look see it tells you the temps it tells you the load from your cpu click uh, clock speed fan speed everything you can adjust it you can change it and then when it comes to storage and it tells you what uh, storage devices you've actually got in your system it tells you the overall temps and the usage while you're using it now yeah the only problem is if you add a widget now yes you can do report bugs you can add cool into it that i'm assuming is for rgb right then you saw a little bit of the what it looks like and the overall software now the only problem I've got really is the fact that the software is kind of confined because you can't actually add other peripherals from different brands. I think that's a bit of a downfall, but I do understand that height has started. Obviously, they're only two years old. They are starting to bring out more products, and I'm assuming because they've made the, what is it, the Nexus app. I'm assuming they're going to be bringing out keyboards, mice, RGB headsets, all this type of stuff that's going to connect to the software. So I understand why they've tied it down, but 
for the consumer, it's not really good because if you're paying this kind of money, it's around the $120 mark, so it's around 90 to to £100. Pound. It's rather expensive for a desk pad. Now, it's got a lot of good features. Of course, it's water resistant. It's easy to clean. And yes, it does come with Type-C, which, thank you, Height. I let, Look, I... Any peripheral I get, if it doesn't have Type-C, I'm not really a fan because at the end of the day, with new standards, Type-C should be the, the moving forward connector. At the end of the day, all cases now, brand new cases out, have got a Type-C connector. Motherboards, for instance, newer motherboards, they all have Type-C. So why not utilize the bandwidth that Type-C gives you over USB? Now, yes, you can connect this with just USB because as you saw in the little bit, it comes with a splitter that you can connect it to two USB ports, but it can be connected with just a type C. Now, of course, when it comes to this now, the overall software is okay. Obviously, if they had more peripherals, perhaps if they brought RGB fans, I know the cases as well, perhaps if they had a bit more RGB uh, products maybe the software would actually look a lot better but including for this it's you know it's a seven layer soft mat it's water resistant of course it's got a detached c cable of course powered by nexus and it's got a three-year warranty which is quite unheard of for a mouse pad but I do understand why because it's got a lot of electronics inside they do recommend you do not bend it because underneath it's got where the strip and the led comes out from so there's a lot of electronics in it but overall it's not a bad product yeah they shouldn't have tied down the software but i can understand why look the software is okay the overall feel and quality is definitely there it's type c which mwah, thank you very much the overall look, it looks fantastic. I will say the RGB, mwah, it's the spot with me, of course, because I love my RGB. But would I buy it? No. But that's me. That's just me because I don't like desk pads. I would prefer a mouse pad over a desk pad because of the simplicity of it. You've got a mouse pad just for your mouse. There's no other problems with... This, uh, yeah, it is, obviously you can clean it and stuff, but still, I don't want a desk pad. But, when I do the water cooling build in the Y40 PC case, I will make sure to use the high pad in, the high desk pad in that video. So, at least then you'll get a look of what it will look with all the RGBs in the world. Because, you know, well, she loves his RGB. So, Make sure you don't forget to subscribe because I've got a lot of stuff coming. I've got a new CPU cooler. I've got a 280mm AIO from a brand that I absolutely love the naming of. It's called Valkyrie. Reminds me of all the Norse and the Vikings. So yeah. I've also just just had confirmation that Bitpower are sponsoring a video, like I said, for the Y40 build. So make sure you subscribe for that. And as always, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. This is Rich from Welsh Tech. Good. Bye.